don't mistake that you're walking down the street right now and you're coming to learn that you are God's chosen people, my man. Did you know that? I got a question for you. You go to church? What is your what does the pastor teach you at church? Huh? Become righteous. How to be how do you be what is righteousness? To, to stay pure? Deuteronomy 6:25. Well today, you got that part right. How to stay pure. But we're going to show you according to what God says righteousness is. Do you believe that you're being righteous? You believe you're righteous? Let's see what God says, all right? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, the verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. Now it says, it shall be our righteousness. Come on. If we observe to do all these commandments. Come what in, is the commandments? Come Where in. do I find the commandments? Where do I find the commandments? It said it will be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments. So my question to you is, where do I find the where do I find the commandments? The book of Exodus. Okay, so you know something. So let me ask you a question. It said it'll be our righteousness if we keep the commandments. What commandments must we keep? Love, love your neighbor as yourself. What else? Give me some more. What is the Sabbath day? What day is the Sabbath day? It depends most of them, Saturdays or Sundays. It depends most of them, most of who? I don't actually know. I don't actually know that some of them, they keep their ideas on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so you say some of them keep Saturday or Sunday. Okay, but according to the Bible, the Israelites, us, we're supposed to keep Sabbath on Saturday. Saturday. They don't teach you that in the churches because you have seven day advantage to keep it that day. But everybody generally in the Christian church will keep the Sabbath or keep their day on Sunday. That's sun worship day. That's pagan. You understand that? Let's see what the Bible says when you and I are supposed to keep the Sabbath. You listen? What's your name, by the way? Daniel, that's a prophet's name. REA. Let's go. Come on. Book of Exodus, chapter 20, the verse 8. Daniel, you listening? All right, let's go. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So Daniel says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Daniel, did you know today is a holy day? Today is the new moon, my brother. We're not supposed to be out buying and selling or shopping. We should be gathered with like-minded brothers keeping the feast day. Did you know that? Well, you're going to learn today. All praise to the Most High. Read that again. Book of Exodus chapter 20, the verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So Daniel, it says, remember the Sabbath day, my brother, to keep it holy. Like you said, to keep it pure. Meaning you should not be defiling the Lord's Sabbath day. Read on. Six days shall work, shall thou labor, and do all thy work. So it says six days, Daniel, from Sunday sundown to Friday sundown, do all the work that you have to do. You can go out, buy, sell. Tachios, my brother Tachios. What I'm going over with my brother Daniel is what God says about the Sabbath day. You got a church? Have you ever heard this before in your church? You have? Well, come close. We don't bite, my brother. We're here for you. We love you. Let's get that. Come on. Six days shall thou listen. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So Daniel and Tacchio says, six days shall you labor and do all your work. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It says, but the seventh day, brother Daniel and brother Tacchio, is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God. Christ, Jesus the Christ, the Black Messiah, kept the Sabbath day holy, like you said here. So what are the things that we must do on the Sabbath day, Daniel? Uh, worship the Most High God. Skip it, skip it. Worship the Most High God. Worship the Most High God. What else? Takio, what do you think you should do on the Sabbath day? You need to rest. What else? No work. What else? What else? What about cook? Can I cook on the Sabbath day? You can? Got that? Uh -huh. Yes, he did. But my question to you is, can you cook on the Sabbath day? 
Well, let's see what the Bible says. We're going to let God be true and every man a liar. Because they say you can do all you want on the Sabbath day, but we got to go according to what thus saith the Lord says, right? You agree? All praise. Read that. Come on. The book of Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. You shall candle no fire to at your inhabitation upon the Sabbath day. Wait a minute. It says you shall not cook or kindle any fire in your homes on the Sabbath day. So wait a minute, you said we can cook on the Sabbath day. Did we not hear that, Daniel? Okay. He was able to heal, but God says you cannot cook on... Right, there you go. So read that part again for our brother. Come on. Book of Exodus, chapter 35, the verse 3. Uh -huh. Ye shall candle no fire to at your inhabitation upon the Sabbath day. And Moses spoke unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, uh -huh. saying, This is the ten which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you. See that? So, we are not to cook on the Sabbath day. Now, it's a, it's, it's a high holy day today. I'm out doing good today by what? Edifying my brothers and sisters today. It's the same thing that Christ did. I can do that on the Sabbath day. I can do that on a high holy day known as the new moon today. You understand? So what did you learn, Daniel? We cannot cook on the Lord's Sabbath day. I got a question for you. Because you said you go to church, right? Daniel, you said you go to church as well, right? What color is Christ? Huh? I don't know. You don't know? What about you? I don't know. What color is Jesus Christ? Okay, who can interpret that for our brother? Which one is Christ? Who? Come here real quick. Come here, come here, Isaac. Real quick. My question to our brother in the back is, what is the color of Christ? I see. I see, yes. Okay. I see, yes. Yes, color band way. He said he doesn't know. He does not know. All right. You go to church. Nine times out of ten, you're going to see. Where's that image at? Where's that image at? Where's that image at? You're going to see this image right here. You're going to see this. Have you ever seen this image before? This is throughout all the world. It's in all the pictures, right? So we got to find out does this image here match what God says Christ looks like here? All right? So we're going to prove all things out of the Bible, right? Because Daniel, you said you do not know as well as you, right? Let's read that. Revelation 1 and verse 1. Let's start there. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, the verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Who is this? John the Revelator is on the island of Patmos, and what is being revealed to him is the image of Christ. All right? Revelations meaning the revealing. Read. To show unto his servants things which must certainly come to pass uh -huh. and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Now let's jump on down. So now John is going to reveal exactly what Jesus Christ looks like. You following me? Come on around this side. I want you guys to see. Come, 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 come. Come on this side. We don't bite. Come on around this side. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank you. Read. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being ten, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So it said, John said, I looked and behold, in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one that looked like the Son of God. Now remember, brothers and sisters, Christ has a Father. All right? So John is seeing exactly what the Son of God looked like, but he gets real descriptive. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So it said, Christ had a garment down to the foot. Come on. And girt about the paths with a golden girdle. And girt about the paths with a golden girdle. Meaning what? Christ had a garment and a belt. Let's go. Verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. So now, now it said, the head of his hairs on top of his head were white like wool. When I look around today, who on the face of the planet, who out here in the midst of the streets and the highways and hedges has woolly textured hair? Well, I'm looking at one right here. Your hair is woolly textured. Your hair is woolly textured. My brother in the back, your hair is woolly textured. Brother in the pink, your hair is woolly textured. Wait a minute, but when you look at this image here, does he have woolly textured hair? No. Does that match up with what the scripture says? Hell no! Keep reading, let's go. 
as white as snow. Now it says Christ's hair was as white as snow. Let's go. You can see that. Hey, Deacon Malachi. Deacon Malachi. You see my brother's hair like there? Woolly. White. Let's go. Come on. And his, and his eyes as a flame of fire. Now it said Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Remember, one of the first miracles Christ did was at the wedding banquet. He turned water into wine. But this is also prophecy. All right, you guys know when you guys may intake some of that palm wine, it actually makes the whites of your eyes red. You understand that? Read on. Come on. Verse 15. And his feet led unto fine breath. Now, John is going to make more. He, John's going to explain a little bit more. For example, let me ask you a question. The color of your feet. Do they not match the tone of your skin? It's the same color, right? So read that part again. Nation is men leading by example.